Happy National Road Trip Day, Coney Island, baby. Woo! Coming to you from beautiful, sunny California and Coney Island. Robert Brooklyn, Street, New York, Rose. baby. And look what yep, else Brooklyn, is. New York. Woohoo! Paper Airplane Day. National Airplane Day. Go figure. Yeah, so let's let's talk about what you're road tripping this week. Yeah, so my wife and I are in Brooklyn, New York, which is where Coney Island is. And this is uh, like an opening day weekend. This is a huge, huge weekend for Coney Island. Uh, all the people are out already today. It's still early, you know. Uh, 1130 in the morning. And, uh, this is just getting ready to blow up. So the beaches are prepared. If you look, they've, they've, the beach is just gorgeous, pristine. The water is beautiful. It's a sunny day. Uh, my wife and I are here visiting her mom and it just worked out. So I was able to be here for National Road Trip Day. And of course, I'm going to come on with Cindy for any national day that she wants to talk about and promote. But uh, yeah, Robin Stern, your Google guru coming at you from Brooklyn, New York, Cody Island. So I'm going to have you full screen again and kind of just tell your story and uh, what you're doing this week while I uh, repurpose the video. All right. Well, hey, everybody. Um, You know what? Technology ain't it great. My phone rang and I'm on the phone. I'm normally not on the phone. I'm normally sitting in my studio, but again, today, road tripping, right? So we have to deal with the problems and the possibilities. Um, Robin Stern, your Google guru. We're here in Brooklyn, New York, visiting my mother-in-law for a week and just decided to go ahead and see if we couldn't uh, do a little bit of uh, showing what's going on in the city, a little bit of tourist type of things for you guys so you can check out what's happening, what's going on here. And it was amazing that we're here for today because not only is it, uh, you know, opening day for Coney Island, Memorial Day weekend, it's going to be huge this weekend, there's going to be a ton of people out here, but also uh, it's some high holy days for uh, uh, Hebrew people, for Jewish people. So this is a huge Jewish population here in Brooklyn, and so we're getting to celebrate some of that. I'll be going to a, a big dinner tonight at my brother-in-law's house where we'll get to celebrate a lot of that as well and see a lot of the traditions and things that go on. So. It's not just Memorial Day weekend, guys. There's lots of cool stuff going on. Go out and check out something in your area. Go Google festivals near me or Memorial Day events near me. Go find something to do because let me tell you, there's a lot of cool stuff going on. Yes, and we actually uh, here in Garden Grove, California, we have the Strawberry Festival. So I'll be attending that this weekend. And last weekend I was in San Diego. Um, so I'm going to repurpose that for National Road Trip Day. So let's, uh, let's walk awesome. around. We got we got a 20 minute show here cool yeah all right all right cool well so i'm gonna go ahead and pop this off the train the tripod oh it looked like we lost you again There we go. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, it's just one thing. They can't have any, you know, consistency. Everything's got to blow up, right? But that's 
again, we're on the road. That's what road tripping is all about. So if you come out to the beach here, look, they got all kinds of food and beverages here. The salt and sizzles right here. And some of the most iconic, like this is the umbrella, the, uh, the, the umbrella, the umbrella drop or the uh, parachute drop. That's what it is. This thing was like built in, I don't know, 1870, this big orange thing up here. Um, there's some really, really old, uh, very, very historic type of things over here on the boardwalk on Coney Island. And so here you got the entrance to the scream zone where there's all kinds of fun rides. And, um, you know, this is just a, it's, it's the boardwalk, right? That's what do you do at the boardwalk? You go and you have fun, you buy tickets, you ride rides. And, uh, as you can see here, there's just so much to do and so much going on right here in Coney Island. Uh, it's, it's incredible. This place is going to be out of control in the next few hours and it's not going to stop for four days. It's just going to be continuous. So, you know, come through for the, the little, uh, the little containers or, you know, get the ball in the bucket or whatever you got to do, but uh, come on out and have some fun. And, and they're constantly over here. Here's the, the workers are over here fixing things up, making things right and making sure everybody's safe for this weekend. So uh, yeah, Coney Island has a huge amount of history guys and not just the Island itself, but, all this, like this boardwalk is like the longest boardwalk in, in anywhere or something like that. And um, the, uh, the history of it is just amazing. And then also the New York Aquarium is here in Brooklyn, right here on Coney Island. So down there, you can go to the New York Aquarium, which I had a lot of video and a lot of pictures of that when we were up here last year. So we were able to uh, share a bunch of that with you guys last year. But um, what do you want to know, Cindy? I mean, I'm, I'm not an expert at Coney Island, but boy, it sure is nice. So, do you know the history? Oh, oh, <laughs> it froze again. Do you know the history of Coney Island? Do you know any background on it? You know what? There's, there's some, uh, there are some boards here that explain some of that, but I don't see one of them right here at 15th Street. They have some information boards and stuff. Maybe I should have been posted up in front of one of those, or maybe I'll sit down with this park right, park oh, ranger right here. Maybe he knows what's going on. Right? Oh yeah, People get him on camera. Me. Well, I'll see if I'll talk to him. Okay. You know anything about the history of Coney Island? Do you know anything about the history of Coney Island? Well, no. Would you mind if I uh, chat with you? I'm on a podcast out of California right now talking about Coney Island. No? Not allowed to do that? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. So uh, something about the boardwalks, like the longest boardwalk or something like that? No? Only three miles. Yeah. Tons of – there's like – there's a reader board that has all the wait tells you all about it, how many boards are in it and stuff. All right, great, great, great. On a pier. You see the pier? Uh, right. Yeah. Oh, Shows okay. you the whole thing. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah, tell them it's national. How long road we got, trip Cindy? Actually. Tell them it's national. She says I gotta tell you it's national road trip day. So we're out road tripping around. Coney Island's on the spot. Thanks, man. All I've right, so he yards down the down the boardwalk and show you the uh, picture of the old historic original Coney Island from back in the day. So nice. I guess I'll do that. I got my walking shoes on, so let's make it happen. So anyway, oh, hi guys. Wow. You know, it's all wood, the whole thing, all the way up. And they say it's three and a half miles. It's not the longest boardwalk, but uh, I think it's the longest wooden, all wooden boardwalk, though. Actually, if you want the truth, but. Let's find out here real quick. I'm going to walk down here. Ooh, you can see squeaky. there's a pier. There's a little pier that goes out right there, right? Mm-hmm. All right. And then, <clears throat> sorry, just uh, out in the wind, breezy out here this morning, too. Yeah. It's, only seven, it's only 72, you know, for a boy from Georgia. It should be like 85 by now. So I don't know about all wow. that. <laughs> That's yeah, cool. yeah. Yeah, so all right, I'm busting it down the board, guys. Let's see what's so, going on. Uh, oh, nothing's open yet until what, 20 minutes? Yeah, they're, minutes? they're starting to. No, some of the rides back in the other sections are going. This this uh, section here. So there's like these different sections of Coney Island with the rides. It's like different companies own a certain area, and those are their rides. So this part here just hasn't opened yet. Uh, Tony's Express. But they're running some of the flumes already. They're they're running some of the things and testing them out, getting them ready. So, so let's see. I'm down to the first aid station, the lifeguard station. There's uh, some information about don't go out in the water if it's thunder and lightning. Let's see. Looking, looking, looking. Oh, I'm over near the end of the pier. Make me have to run, man. 
So, uh, so yeah, there's just so much going on out here. There's a million people. They're always doing something. Everyone's got a story, you know. Everyone's got something going on. And uh, the parks guys are always rocking and rolling it, making it happen, keeping the place clean. I mean, obviously, it's spotless here today. Very, very nice. They did a great job. But uh, wow. we got kids playing with the stand buckets and they have palm trees. Can you believe it? They have to put them up. They're plastic, but they have them. Uh, <laughs> you see it out there? You see the palm tree? Look at really? That. It's crazy, oh, man. Wow. Let's see if there's wow. a palm tree. One palm tree. <laughs> so All right, here. Let's, I'm over, at the... let's go over some bucket lists real quick. So we have um, the beach bucket list, boardwalk bucket list, aquarium bucket list. So what do you know about the aquarium right? over there? Yeah. Well, I've been in the aquarium. It's it's really, really nice. They have a huge shark exhibit. exhibit. Oh, excuse me. Um, and a great uh, the seals and the sea lions. They got a oh, huge wow. open seal and sea lion exhibit. So very, very, uh, very, very cool there. Yeah, and I have a ton of photos that I posted last year when we were here. All right, here it is. So uh, this is the Pat Letta Steeplechase Pier. Can you read that or is it backwards? Yeah. The Trillium um, family opened the Steeplechase I, I Park. Some of it, yeah. 1897, marking the beginning of Coney Island as the nation's playground. The rise of modern amusement parks, Coney Island, or Steeplechase Park got its name from its central feature, an eight-lane mechanical horse ride on an undulating track. So here's the original Coney Island. Here it is, guys. Like, that wonder wheel is the same wonder wheel. It's still there. I mean, it's, it's back over that red and white awning. We were looking at it earlier, but that's still there, and so is the Cyclone. This is an all-wooden roller coaster. It's still there as well. Let's see. So uh, the pier collapsed in 92, was rebuilt in the new cross-shaped form, popular for fishing and crabbing year-round. And then Hurricane Sandy kicked New York's ass in 2012. You know, that was pretty bad. But they've rebuilt it all. So this is a brand new pier that's been put up here. And um, it's just gorgeous. I mean, it's, it's absolutely awesome. It's uh, plenty wide enough for many, many New Yorkers to enjoy it simultaneously, side by side, rubbing shoulders. <laughs> so there you go. So you saw the picture, right? You can see the picture, Coney Island? Well, it's a, yeah, I see that. Oh, yeah, old school. Yeah, that's amazing. Old school coming out. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. So, what do you have there for some culinary bucket list? So, you have the hot dogs, right? No, oh, of course. You got Nathan's hot dogs. That's, you know, that's where the, uh, the hot dog eating championship every year, right? They do that from Nathan's right here at Coney Island. Um, you got everything here, really, Cindy. I mean, it goes, it ranges from, you know, your standard. Uh, uh, carnival fair like funnel cakes and you know deep fried Oreos to I mean there's probably there's gourmet food here and you can buy a bottle of you know Moet champagne and sit right here on the beach and drink it it just it doesn't wow. there's a this is a pizza place there's a personal pizzas and pan pizzas right here um, there's Italian there's Chinese there's all your standard fare right but there's also all your different international uh, flavors and, and types of food. It's This is New York City, baby. I mean, this is where it happened. This is the Big Apple. I was just over in uh, uh, part of a town called Park Slope, and, and we were visiting with some friends yesterday. And I'm telling you, a half a block from their house was every type of food times 10 within a four-block area. So you'd walk a half block down, and then you could go two blocks in either direction, and there was every type of food you could possibly want times 10. It, it's unbelievable. Um, it is. It's just there's so many people packed into such a small space that it makes it, you know, valuable and viable for a business to set up. And even if there's 10 of them that do the same thing, right, because there's just so many people. So uh, you put out a good product like anything else and you pack the place. We stopped at a place right on the street yesterday, had fried chicken, some shrimp and grits and uh, French fries and a beer. And we literally sat at a bench, a, a picnic table on the street on Flatbush Avenue in Brooklyn. It's just, it, there's no experience like it being in New York. There's just no experience like it at all. So, um, really? yeah, every type of food you can imagine, Cindy, everything. It's, it's so ridiculous. When do they so they open Coney Island? Is it only certain months of the year? Yeah, they're not open in the wintertime. So Coney Island starts Memorial Day to Labor Day. So uh -huh. the entire summer, right? That's the traditional Northeast kind of summer is Memorial Day to Labor Day, right? So uh, everybody up here kind of works towards that all year to – have the uh, summertime events. Uh, here's a hibachi cook, like I can, the guy's in his chef outfit, walking down the pier, getting ready to go to work. You know, it's just, uh, wow. it's it, it, it's amazing. It's amazing. So, 
Um, anyway, what else did I want to tell you about this? Uh, I don't know. There's just, so you know, it's National it's just, Bucket List Day. We won't be able to go here at any point then because it's a month after. That's a bummer. No. Well, yep, that's right. That doesn't open until after that. Yep, you're not going here for National Bucket List Day. So here you got all your all your rides. Like this is the Sky Chaser. This thing drops you all over the place. It's out of control. I don't oh, know why yeah, anybody so would want to go. Rides. That's cool. Right on. Yeah, yeah. So you got the Sky Chaser here, and then uh, what do we got? We got the drop, of course. What's that? The super drop. Well, here's a roller coaster, the Thunderbolt roller coaster. You didn't see that? Look at that thing. It goes straight up. See it? Yeah. See right there? It just goes straight up and then drops you off the other side to a couple of spins and twists and. And, you know, it's only packed into one city block because where that purple and that blue you see behind it, that's a, a big, you know, uh, apartment complex being built right behind that. And that's only on the other side of the street. So, so, so what this is, is that ride called? That ride is called the Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt coming hot. Yep. Coming hot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nothing I'll tell you like what, but it's funny. 10, though. We know that. No, 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 no. But that, what's funny is this, you have a boardwalk. You have one block of rides and food and entertainment, and then the city. And then on the other side of the boardwalk, you got the beach. It's just, it's incredible. It's an incredible place to live to be. It's just, yeah, there's no place like it in the world, I don't think. But if there is, we're going to go find it, right, Cindy? <laughs> we are, but unfortunately, we can't do anything for National Bucket List Day. So here's the lowdown on Bucket List Day for next year. So we're shooting for either Mazatlan or New Orleans. And the reason we want to do Mazatlan is because Mazatlan has history of the Beatles. There's a whole street dedicated to the Beatles and Liverpool. So, so that's what's in the mix right now. Look, it looks like you froze up again. I Are did. I did. I should be back. I am back now. Yeah. Yeah. So for next year, so we have two options. We're either doing Mazatlan or we're doing New Orleans. And the reason we're picking Mazatlan is because there is some history there with the Beatles. There's a whole street that's dedicated to the Beatles. Ah. I believe a couple of years ago, they even had a Beatles festival. And then one of the hotels I'm looking at has a cenote. So have you ever been to Cancun? No. So cenote, no. It's, it's kind of like a, a natural like um, pool, like, you know, from, from the earth. It's really amazing. All and right. they have like a waterfall and everything like that. So I'm just um, trying to work with one of my suppliers to make that happen. So I, I really want to go back to Mazatlan because when we were there for the cruise, we really didn't get to just enjoy as much as we could. I mean, I love cruises. Don't get me wrong. But when you do the right. land vacation, you're, you're more yeah. in charge of your schedule. So sure, so sure, sure. Down for next year. So if you want to join us. Um, but yeah, we, we'll be announcing that here in the next couple of weeks. Very so. cool. Very cool. Yeah. All right. All right, girl. All righty. So, um, well, save yourself from rip currents. Exactly. Don't, so, don't just let the rip currents get you. And I'm going to go into the green room. I'll put you in the green room and then uh, I'm going to close out and I'll see you in a minute. Take care. Right. Later Thank on, everybody. You. Thank you. So, make sure you celebrate this weekend, uh, especially today, National Road Trip Day. And we'll see you on the other side. <laughs>